Hey there guys, how's it going? Mike coming back at you with another video on number theory. In the previous video, we uh, got an, an introduction into number theoretic functions. Uh, we introduced two such, such functions, uh, tau of n and sigma of n. Uh, the tau it tells us the number of positive divisors of n, uh, and sigma tells us the sum of those positive um, divisors of n. Uh, and we saw some uh, formulas that we can use uh, to figure out tau and sigma uh, for any n value whatsoever. In this video, uh, we are going to see a couple sample problems uh, and see how we find tau and sigma uh, for some larger values of n. Uh, so we'll kick it off with our first one here. Uh, here our n value is 24,024, uh, and we want to find tau and sigma uh, for this particular n value. First thing we need to do is we need to come up with the canonical form uh, for 24,024. Um, and just like earlier on in the course, uh, when we first talked about the canonical forms uh, and how to find it, um, I said that I wouldn't incorporate any primes uh, greater than uh, 20. Well, that still holds true. Uh, any number that you see for me, uh, any primes uh, that will show up in the canonical form for that number uh, will be 19 or less. So given that piece of uh, knowledge, um, it's not too bad to find the canonical form for 24,024. Uh, it is 2 cubed times 3 to the 1 times 7 to the 1 times 11 to the 1 times 13 to the 1. So we're going to work with this form right here uh, to nicely figure out uh, what tau and uh, sigma are. Uh, for tau, uh, recall from the previous video uh, that when we calculate tau, we're only working with the exponents on these primes here. And what we do is we add one onto every power that shows up. And then we take the product of all those things. So this will be a four, a two, a two, a two, a two. And we take the product of all those things. Uh, and we get four times two to the fourth, which is 64. Uh, and now sigma, the one that is more complicated. Working with our first prime here, we take the prime and we raise it to a power one more than the one that we had. Uh, so we had three, we now raise it to the fourth power, and we're going to subtract one from what that is. And then it's that quantity divided by just the prime itself, 2 minus 1. That is, again, uh, referring back to our uh, previous video. It's P1 to the power of K1 plus 1, then that minus 1, all over P1 minus 1. And similarly, uh, we do the same thing for P2 and its exponent K2. It's P2 raised to the K2 plus 1. So we have the power of 1 here. We're going to square it here, uh, subtract 1 from that, and then it's that all over the prime 3 minus 1. And we continue on in that same fashion with 7. Uh, 7 squared minus 1 over 7 minus 1. Uh, 11 squared minus 1 over 11 minus 1. Uh, and 13 squared minus 1 over 13 minus 1. So this gives us 15, 4, 8, 12, and 14. If you take the product of all of those guys, uh, you get 80,640. So this was the first of our two uh, sample problems here. Um, the main thing is getting the correct um, canonical form for your number. If you get that down uh, and you have no problems uh, finding that, it's really just straightforward uh, use of the various pieces uh, and straightforward plugging into uh, the formulas that you were given from the previous video. Second problem here, a little bit more involved. We're working with a significantly larger number. Uh, we're going to find tau and sigma uh, for 78,217,425.
So again, first thing, uh, what is the can canonical form for this number? Um, well, it is uh, 3 squared times 5 squared times 11 squared times 13 squared uh, times 17 uh, to the power of 1. Now that we have uh, that form, uh, we can do the same steps, the same process that we did uh, in the previous uh, problem uh, to come up with tau and sigma for this large n value here. Uh, for tau, I'm going to take each of these powers here, 2, 2, 2, 2, and 1, add 1 onto each of those, uh, and then take the product of those things. So it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 2, uh, which gives us 162. Uh, and now for sigma, uh, P1 to the K1, I'm adding 1 onto that power, so it's 3 cubed minus 1 all over the prime minus 1, all over 3 minus 1. Uh, then we have 5 squared. Uh, for sigma, it's going to be 5 cubed, then minus 1, all over the prime 5 minus 1, uh, and so on and so forth uh, with the remaining uh, three terms here in this product. 11 cubed minus 1 over 11 minus 1, 13 cubed minus 1 over 13 minus 1, and 17 squared minus 1 over 17 minus 1. If you calculate each of those individually, you get the numbers 13, 31, 133, 183, uh, and 18, respectively. Take the product of those things, and you get 176,555,106. Uh, so there's really nothing uh, crazy, nothing super complicated happening uh, when you find tau and sigma for any n value. Um, really, all you have to do uh, is put your number in its canonical form. Uh, you have the primes, the p sub i's. You have their exponents, k sub i's. Um, you know, take those pieces, substitute them into the formulas that you saw in the uh, previous video, um, and just uh, do some uh, basic uh, mathematical calculations uh, with them. Nothing too crazy uh, that is going on here. So this is it for uh, this video. In the next uh, video, we are going to talk about another function. It's not necessarily a number theoretic function, uh, but we are going to talk about um, a number, uh, or we are, are going to talk about another uh, type of uh, function that maybe you've seen in a uh, previous uh, course, uh, and we're going to see uh, one use uh, for this uh, particular function that we'll see. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, until the next video, Take it easy, guys.